Hi, it's Lilia Manda from Dark Pink. In this video, I'm going to share with you a problem I just encountered recently. I got spammed by bots. It is really annoying because it eat up all my email quota in Breville. For the inquiry, I have set up a workflow that automatically will reply to them with their inquiry. So it's very efficient. The people will get answers straight away when they inquire my service. I am a portrait photographer, by the way, because bold. They span my sign up form. All my inquiries emails are in the queue, not able to send out because it eat up all the quota. And my email logs are going crazy just because all the bots are keep spamming. So this is very important to implement something to prevent both to span your contact form or sign up form. Sign up form is more vulnerable because you generally just ask an email address and that's easy for both to spam. And I have a contact form as well, but it does require some steps to fill out the form and that prevents both to get into my contact form. With email sign up form, this is something you must do to prevent the bolt. If you just have a new sign up form, you might not get this problem. For me, it takes two or three years for bolts to come in. So in the beginning, if you don't want to implement it, it's okay. But I would suggest implement it right away. And I will tell you why at the end of this video. So in this video, I want to share with you how if you encounter the same problem, how you're going to solve it. And if you haven't encountered this problem and you have a sign up form for people to contact you or inquire for your product and service, keep watching. So this is my Brevo account. I want to show you before I deal with this because I think this is an important issue that sometimes we think it's not going to happen to me but it actually happened to me i've been using breville for two or three years and this is the first time i got spammed from my contact form there's another bounce okay this is still coming so i have to do something about it i just have to recall all this and to show you it all started by getting this email from breville it just says my credit limit has been reached i remember they have 300 email a day that it doesn't matter if it's contact form or newsletter sign up form i can have 300 a day for free and it's just impossible because with this brevo account i run a local portrait studio business so it's unlikely i will have so many email a day usually it's around 10 emails a week i send out from brevo and 300 has already been reached it's very unlikely so this is something happening then i went to my brevo account and i scroll down here and it sees the plan usage has been reached so that's every day 300 emails a day i've reached the limit because i got this email so i went to check the backlog i went to brevo's help center according to what they were saying is over here email queue they changed the name backlog emails are actually now is called email queue Okay, this is uh, so the email, the automatic email hasn't changed yet, but it's actually email queue. I just find that out on Help Center. And let me go to Transactional. And you can see real time what things are going on here. And I click here, Usage and Plan. I will be able to see here are 144 post emails. Okay, and I can delete these emails in the queue if I want to. Of course, I will delete them because these are spams. After two or three years using Revo, this is the first time I encountered this problem. And it's very easy to solve if I set the form correctly right from the beginning. I didn't. You know, sometimes you for going to sign up form, there is a check like, I'm not a robot. Just set that up, then I won't get this. That's the next step I'm going to use. I'm going to show you how you can implement this method into your forms in Brevo so you will not get these spam emails, like spamming my contact emails or your newsletter sign up emails. So super important because now I reach my limit. If someone contact me through my contact form, I won't be able to send them message automatically and I will have to go and check if there's anyone I miss out sending email. 
Let me share with you my logs, and you will see how serious the problem is. Just from yesterday, I got the email, and you can see there are so many emails just coming in, keep coming in, and I have one thousand three hundred and ninety four of these activities. Okay, you know, this is just one person. It just keeps signing up. This definitely bot. So to get rid of this problem. So I go to forms, and this is the form I use to gather newsletters. So I'm going to go in. So you scroll down to find this captcha. Captcha is an anti-spam technique that used to protect your contact form from spammer and abuse. So I'm going to just go to this dots and drag it over here. Okay, and I need to get my key to set it up here. So this is the one thing for. Human to use like you just tick the box and you can subscribe. When I click here, get your key, and I come to this. So this is instruction to tell me how do I get the key, how to install this capture, and here's、uh, all this information you can read. Okay, so now I come to step one, create your capture. So I'm going to just follow this instruction and show you how you do it. So I'm going to click on this link. Okay, and you choose your Google account to create a new one. Okay, so I'm coming to dark pink. So I just going to get started in here. Label you can give any label something you can remember. So I will just say a newsletter, and you can choose the capture type. And okay, here these are different types, and I prefer this one. I am not a robot checkbox. Simple for users and effective against most bots. Okay, so I'm going to use this one just to test out how this works. So I'm going to use the type two. I'm not a robot checkbox, and then you enter your domain. For example, I will just put dot pink dot net and a Google Cloud platform. I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can rename it if you want. I'm going to submit, and here is the site key and also secret key. And、you just copy and paste. You have to remember to choose the type, and then the site key and the secret key. And there you are. You will have this installed. And the next thing, so you have to click next to save it. Okay. Let me just come back here. Return to this step. If I click empty space, you come back to this、uh, where I can use from design or from build. So this one is this capture. Okay. I drag it over here and I click here. When I click here, this is all highlighted. That means I can start to put input the settings. Okay, and here's the setting. And next to save it, and then go to share. This is where you find your HTML or iframe to embed it on your website or anywhere you want people to sign up your newsletter. Okay, or sign up your email. And this is just very simple, straightforward. And I will follow up with this to see if these spammers are gone. It's terrible. For example, this is my website, and I just put it back here to my、uh, widget here. Let me show you how I did it. From my dashboard, I go to appearance widget. That is a footer. Just something additional. If you want to know how you set your form at the bottom of your website, footer will appear every page. So that's very convenient. So that's on three. Let me just show you. So basically, I just go to share here, return this step, and then choose HTML, and I highlight it and copy, and go to my widgets and paste it. I just click on plus here, and then select custom, custom HTML, and then I can paste it here. Okay, and you can preview. This is just for demo for you. Then you can update. It's done. I come back to Breville here. Underneath the transactional, you can see the real time what's going on here. It's like the log over here. Now you can see there's so activity going on and use up all my, oh, use all my credit. So I'm going to delete these pause emails. Delete. So then I will see if there's a、uh, more activity going on after I implement the anti capture. Okay. Okay. So if you encounter this problem, here's an error. Error for the site owner. Invalid domain for site key. So if you like me encounter this problem, there is a fast way to solve. 
I found this person on the Stack Overflow saying. I guess the quickest way is just to disable the domain check while you are developing it. Verify the origin of recapture solutions. So I'm gonna run that with you. You go to your recapture. When you log in, you will see this um, see this report page, and you go to these settings and label. Find the capture you said that you want to set, and you scroll down and just untick this box and save it. Okay, and I'm just come back to. My widget, so I'm switching to HTML view, and then I'm going to preview again. So it is okay now. That's the quickest way to solve it. This is a note. If you don't have this problem, then don't worry about it. And the last thing is always check if this work. For example, I will go to my website and then just scroll down to the form here. So I will just fill it out and test it to see if it works properly. If yes, then you are good to go. Two days later, after I added capture, I don't have the spam problem anymore, and I don't have my log going crazy with thousands of activities that, and I don't have the spams eat up all my email quota in Breville. So no email in the email queue, and it was just clean, and. It's just a small action, small things that I just have to implement and just solve this issue just like that easily. Okay, so I'm going to share with you why you should implement this straight away when you start to have your sign up form. Because after I sign up with Catch Up, as usual, I usually do test emails. So I use another email address to sign up my own sign up form after implement Catch Up and. You know what happened? The email. Like usually, I have this double confirmation for email sign up, just in case people type in the wrong email. And you know what? My email, my own email, went into my own spam box. It's just a disaster because this means when people sign up, the emails, my emails, were likely to go to their spam box as well, and it's a total disaster. It was because the spam bot created a bad reputation for my email account. So now I'm trying to rescue it by mark my email important. You can do this in in all the Google accounts or other emails. You can also star it. Just make it important. And it helped because afterwards I I can receive the email in the inbox, not the spam box anymore. It actually works. But if you have other methods, also can help with this problem. To prevent emails going to spam box, leave in the comment below. We really want to know. So the hard lesson I learned is, like I should have done this earlier. Like when I have this sign up form, I should have just put on capture. But just because it has a a process, it takes a little bit time to go into open account register with Google for a capture. So I got a bit lazy, and I, because I think I just run a small. Local business, so the bots won't come to me. But it's not true. As long as you are on internet, bots are everywhere. <laughs> And the important thing is to also to inform your subscribers. You can implement into your sign up form to include a confirmation message, something like one last thing before we can send you emails. You'll need to click the confirm button in the email we just sent you. Check the spam box if you don't receive it. This is something that you can implement in Breville. There is a confirmation message that you can put into Breville when you design the form. So a week later, I check again after implement capture, and my log gone back to normal. It's not like the crazy thousands of log just from the bot. It gone back to normal. Provide me the information who was reading the email and which email they open. Okay, that's important about log, and not many email marketing provider have this feature. So if you haven't got a Breville account, I highly recommend you to create a free account to try it out. And I will leave the link in the description. You can sign up a free account to try. And also, if you want to upgrade, check the description. There may be this discount code or discount link. I will leave it in the description as well. Okay, so you can enjoy the discount. I hope you don't make the same mistake as I did. And if you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will really help me to grow this channel and give you more of my personal experience how to solve tech problems. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.